Hi everyone! Welcome to lesson one on the Gruffalo. Now today we're going to be focusing on adjectives. Now Mrs Price and I know that you are super at using adjectives now so we can't wait to see what you come up with. Just to remind ourselves, adjectives are words that we can add into our sentence to give a bit more detail and excitement. And it gives the person who is reading what we've written a really clear image in their head of what we are describing. Now, in our story, we've got two main characters. We've got the mouse and the gruffalo. And we're going to think of some adjectives for them today. We're going to start by thinking about the gruffalo. We're going to do that bit together. So we're going to use our looking lens to have a look at the gruffalo and think about what we can see. Now remember, we don't just want to write what we can see. We don't just want to write he has eyes or he has claws. We want to use adjectives to give some more detail and describe what his features are like. So the first thing I can see is that the gruffalo has got orange eyes. What word there is the adjective? Orange eyes. Can you spot it? Well done. It's orange. Orange is the adjective because it's describing what the Gruffalo's eyes are like. It's telling me what colour they are, so it's giving me some more detail. We could also say that the Gruffalo has beady eyes. Can you spot the adjective again? Well done. It's beady because we're describing that his eyes are a bit beady. Let's look at another feature. The Gruffalo has got purple prickles. Can you spot the adjective there? Tell your screen, what is the adjective? Well done, it's purple, because purple is giving some more detail about the prickles. We could change our adjective to sharp. We could say the Gruffalo has sharp prickles, couldn't we? So sharp is our adjective that we've changed. That's the word that is describing. It's telling us what something is like. Now we could also change the word prickles to something else. We could change it to spikes. Now that word there, the thing that we are describing, the Gruffalo's feature, we call a noun. Can you say noun to your screen? Noun. Well done. So a noun is an object or item or thing. Okay, so when we're describing the Gruffalo, we're talking about his features and they are nouns and we are adding adjectives to our nouns to describe what they are like. Let's look at another feature. The Gruffalo has a bushy tail. Bushy tail. Can you spot which word is the adjective, which word's describing, and which word is the noun? What's the item we are talking about? Bushy tail. Can you spot the adjective? Well done. Bushy is the adjective because it's describing what our noun, our tail, is like. Bushy tail. We've got our adjective and our noun. Well done. Right, time for another feature. The Gruffalo has knobbly knees. Knobbly knees. Can you spot which word there is the adjective that's describing? Which word is the noun? What's the thing we are talking about? Well done. Can you spot knobbly knees? Which word there is the noun? The thing we're talking about? It's knees. Well done. Knees is our noun. And we're describing our noun with an adjective. We're saying the knees are knobbly, knobbly knees. I've described some more features of the Gruffalo. I've said he's got scratchy claws and a green wart on his nose, hasn't he? Now it's your turn. Can you have a go at coming up with some adjectives to describe what features you see on the Gruffalo? Try and think of your own, but if you're struggling, you can always check back here and borrow one of ours that we came up with together. Pause the video now and have a go. Right, now it's time to think about our other character, the mouse. Can you come up with some of your own adjectives to describe the mouse? Remember, you need to think about the noun, that's the feature or thing that you're talking about, and you need to come up with an adjective, and that's how you're describing your noun, okay? Give it a go, pause the video and come back here for a bit of a challenge. Well done if you've decided to challenge yourself today. That is a super way to grow your brain and make it nice and strong. Right, your challenge today, I wonder, can you put the adjectives you've come up with into some sentences? We'll have a go at one together and then you can have a go by yourself. 
Now, the most important thing before we write our sentences is that we say them out loud. When we say it out loud, it helps our brain to know what we need to write. So, I think I want to write, the Gruffalo has orange eyes. There's some of the adjectives I came up with earlier, weren't they? The Gruffalo has orange eyes. I've counted that on my hand. How many words do I need to write into my sentence? The Gruffalo has orange eyes. Well done, I need to write five words in my sentence. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I know what I need to write, I can give it a go. So, the first word I need to write is the, the. So I'm going to write the Gruffalo. The Gruffalo has orange eyes, okay? So I need to write all those words out, making sure I'm using my always checklist as well. I also want to write, he has purple prickles, and I'm going to add some more detail by saying where those prickles are. He has purple prickles on his back. Oh my goodness, seven words in that sentence. Now I've said it out loud, I can have a go at writing it. He has purple prickles on his back. Now, if you fancy an extra challenge, you can try to use and in your sentence. You might want to say a sentence like, hmm, he has sharp claws and, there's our challenge word, and pointy teeth. <gasps> Let's count that again. He has sharp claws and, our challenge word, pointy teeth. That's seven words again in this sentence. So now I've said it out loud, I can give it a go at writing it down because I know what words I've got to write. Have a go at writing some sentences about the Gruffalo and the mouse. If you need some extra help, there is a word bank on the screen now that you can pause and use to help with your sentences, okay? Good luck everyone and I can't wait to see your work on Dojo.